friends. I'm excited to do another reading lesson with you today. Remember, we're in module four now, and we're thinking about during the whole module, which is called the continents, what makes the world fascinating? Remember, fascinating means extremely interesting. I said yesterday that I find uh, my new snake really interesting and fascinating. I find butterflies fascinating. Did you tell someone in your house something that you find fascinating? You should comment on our Google Classroom or our Class Dojo. Tell me something that you find fascinating. Over the next couple of days, friends, we're going to be reading these two books, Europe and Asia. And we have a question, we have a focusing question for the next eight lessons, friends. And that is, what interesting things can people do in Europe and Asia? Hmm. I wonder what those interesting things will be. I also am thinking, friends, oh, there's my kitty cat, Finnegan. Hi, Finners. <laughs> She's going to be part of our video today, friends. I'm also wondering, what is Europe and Asia? Remember yesterday, we said that those were continents. Remember, continents are huge pieces of land separated by water. And here's a map of our whole world with all of the continents on there. And there's Thinner Cat. <laughs> What's that, friend? It's a map. Remember, maps show us where places are, they help you know where to go, and they show you how to get places. This is a map of Europe, friends, right here. Today we're going to talk about Europe. It's here. And remember, yesterday we said we live in North America, about here. Do you think that you could walk over to Europe? No, you couldn't walk over to Europe. You're right, friends. You can't walk to Europe. It's far, far away, and you would have to cross an ocean to get there. So it's really exciting, friends, that we have this great new book to learn more about what makes Europe interesting and what do the people do there that is interesting. So today I'm going to read you this story and my awesome cameraman Remy, camera woman I should say, <laughs> is going to be videoing the book for us. And remember every time we read a new book, what do we do friends? We notice and we wonder. That's right, notice and wonder. Today as we read this story, Europe, by Rebecca Hirsch. I want you to be thinking about what you notice and about what you wonder in our text. Europe by Rebecca Hirsch. Here's our table of contents. The table of contents tell us about what is going to be in the story. Welcome to Europe. Europe is a continent. The largest pieces of land on earth are continents. There are seven. Europe is the yellow continent on this map. This is the seven continents map right here. Remember, we're talking about Europe and we live all the way over here in North America. I notice that that's very far away. This is a map of Europe. Europe is a small continent, but it has many countries. Germany, Spain, and Italy are three countries in Europe. Can you find them on this map? Let's see, we have Germany here, Italy, and Spain. Children dance at Oktoberfest in Bavaria, Germany. Oh my goodness, friends, I wonder what kind of music they're listening to. I notice it looks like they're having a lot of fun. People of Europe, 
Each country has its own language, foods, and customs. In Germany, people speak German. They celebrate a festival called Oktoberfest. I'm guessing that this is something interesting that our friends in Germany can do. Prince William and Duchess and the Duchess of Cambridge on their wedding day in the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom, people speak English. The United Kingdom has a royal family. I notice his uniform and her beautiful dress. People riding boats in Venice, Italy. In Italy, people speak Italian. There is a city in Italy where the streets are waterways. There are no cars. People walk on sidewalks or ride boats to go from place to place. I notice these friends in the boats right here. Can you imagine friends not being in cars, but going from place to place on a boat? That seems very interesting to me. A colorful dragon fountain in Barcelona, Spain. Oh, what a beautiful fountain, friends. Places to see. There are many things to see in Europe. People visit the beautiful parks and buildings in the cities. Wow, friends, I noticed that that is a statue that I would love, or a fountain I would love to go see. School children at a museum in France. They visit Europe's museums to see art. There are famous paintings in the museums. Wow, friends, I see these happy children looking at this famous painting. I wonder what that painting is. An Egeskov castle in Denmark has water all around it. They come to see castles that were built long ago. Ooh, friends, I noticed this neat castle. I wonder what it, was, what it looks like inside. A brown bear looks for food in a forest in Finland. Land and water. Europe has forest. Trees grow in the forest and many animals live there. Wow, can you imagine seeing a brown bear like that in the forest? People picking grapes off the vines in France. Europe has places that are hot and dry. The weather is good for growing olives and grapes. Oh, I noticed children skiing, friends. That seems like an interesting thing to do in Europe. Children ski in the Alps in Italy. Europe has mountains. It has a group of mountains called ranges. The tallest mountain range in Europe is the Alps. A boat on the Danube River in Budapest, Hungary. Here's the boat on the river. Europe has many rivers. The rivers connect cities to the sea. Visitors travel on their rivers to see Europe's interesting places. This is called a modern marvel. This is the Malou Viaduct. It stretches across a deep valley in France. It's the world's tallest bridge. The bridge has tall columns and cables that work together to hold the bridge up. I noticed some shapes here, friends. What shape do you see? I see a triangle too, good job. And finally, friends, it says meet an alpine ibex. Alpine ibexes are wild goats. They live in high, they live high in the mountains in Europe. These goats are excellent climbers. Look at this goat with its tall horns, friends. Oh my goodness, that was a really interesting book that we uh, learned about today, friends. Europe by Rebecca Hirsch. Did you notice any interesting things that the people did there? Do you have any wonderings or any questions about what we read about today? Remember, you can always post those comments on our Class Dojo 
or our Google Classroom. I look forward to reading more with you tomorrow about Europe and Asia. See you tomorrow.